American Forces Network. This is the American Forces Network. From ABC News, I'm James Packer. President Biden authorizing an immediate U.S. response after a major earthquake in Haiti today. U.S. aid administrator Samantha Power selected to coordinate the effort. Dozens already reported dead at the epicenter about 78 miles west of the capital of Port au Prince and widely felt. Marlene Bastian, executive director of the Family Action Network in South Florida, with what she's hearing from people in Haiti. I have reports of, of, of a hospital or a hotel that collapsed. Many, a lot of housing, many houses have collapsed. It's just over a decade of other major things. Hundreds of thousands dead in Haiti, and just weeks after the assassination of the nation's leader. Another major city in Afghanistan falls. mazar e sharif the capital of the Balkh province, has been taken by the Taliban after the insurgents launched a major assault there earlier today. U.S. trained Afghan forces surrendering. It's a pattern repeated in city after city. Just one week ago, the Taliban had only one provincial capital. Now, they have more than a dozen as the West carries out contingency plans for a fall of Kabul. But it is to Kabul that thousands of Afghans have fled for safety. 30,000 people fleeing each week. Nearly a quarter million have left their homes in Afghanistan since May. 80% of whom are women and children. ABC's Julia McFarland, mixed reaction in Congress, responses on Capitol Hill to Biden's actions in Afghanistan, split along party lines. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell is urging the administration to reconsider its strategy and use airstrikes to keep Kabul from falling. Democrats like Senator Chris Murphy have called Biden's actions a necessary decision. ABC's Alex Frischet, doctors in COVID hotspots like Texas are going to keep up with a surge in coronavirus patients all the time, vowing not to Patients away. Dr. Cindy Darnell Bowens of Children's Medical Center in Dallas. We will find care um, for.